Hey guys, welcome back to Just Carve Up. Yep. I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna. What are we gonna do, Rob? Well, we're gonna carve. How you guys doing? Okay. And we're gonna use our wood burner. And I think to get in here, we're gonna wood burn to sharpen these lines up. What do you guys think about that? Stealing tricks from our buddy Ben over there at Studio on the Lake. He's always wood burning. To uh, make stop lines and all that kind of good stuff like that. That's Ben. That's what. So we're taking some tricks from Ben. Ooh, hit! Yeah, found a hot, a hard spot in this wood. See, that gives us a nice, clean, sharp line. Yeah, right there is a really, really hard spot for some reason. Yeah, like that. And we can come in here and go like. Go like that. Go back here, do the same thing. Something like that. Then we can sharpen up the, uh, sharpen this up here. See, by burning this, we can come back in with our micro motor or uh, Ruby Burr or something. And we can take this area here, right on down. that so that shows you how soft this wood is because I do not have this turned up very high at all Right, so uh, let's see. This wood just does not really like to cut with a knife. That's what I'm talking about. See how we made that burn line? And it kind of acts like a dead stop. So we can just bring our also by uh, burning it, it's actually toughened this wood up a little bit. But we had a hard spot right here anyway, right? Okay. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, actually, that piece cut pretty good. I guess I'm not going to show you what I was talking about. This wood has been was raising havoc earlier. Maybe the, it's just the way the grain was running, I guess. Maybe that's what it was. Because I'll tell you, before I was trying to do this, well, I took away a lot of material since then too, but before I was trying to do this earlier in the built, earlier in the carve, and, uh, it was just beating me up. 
It did not want to cut at all. Get them pecs to stand out a little bit. Yeah, I'm su this is surprising me <laughs> how good this is cutting right now. I did not want to cut it all earlier. It was just tearing and tearing and tearing. And hiccups. All right, well, you can see how that knife works. Cuts them nice and smooth, right? So you kind of got them go pretty good there. I think he's coming out all right. Man, he's got some big arms, don't he? Wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. No siree. We're out on a camping or fishing trip. Of course, as hairy as I am, he'd probably think I was just his brother. He'd be like, bro, what you doing, bro? Stupid finger. Thing's really cutting down my. I'm getting to where I can use it for uh, controlling the. Power tool's a little bit better. Alright. So that's where we are right now, guys. Where's my pencil? Pencil, pencil. Let's see. Uh, find our center point here. Something like that. Give them that little circle right there. Like that, and then we go. <laughs> There's two, one, two, three, four. We give them eight pack. We give them an eight pack. How an eight, an eight pack. Something like that. Look at that. Got the eight pack abs there.
You think we should give them abs? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. My six pack disappeared a long time ago. And maybe we should just do it from here up. Okay. We'll get rid of the bottom too. And that gives him his six pack abs. Six pack abs right there, guys. I don't know. I don't know if we should give him abs. I have to make him bigger because he's quite wide. This guy says seven six pack, he's got kegs. Yeah. Something like that. I got him in the right place. It'll be down below the rib cage, so I, I think this is a little bit high here. I think we had it better before. I have to re <laughs> reconfigure our ab structure here. And I think so, right here. That'd be one, two, I think that makes it look more like a brain. He's got his brain in his belly. I might have to think about that decision. Now he's got one malformed dab. I think we might have to think about that one. And then we can just give him a little Give him a little white belly there. I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen Bigfoot with abs. I think we just might leave him hairy. We're just gonna make him hairy. I don't. I don't like that idea at all. Okay. So <laughs> some of the ideas that come in your head that you shouldn't. You know, you shouldn't let them loose after you think of them. I don't think. So here's our Bigfoot guys. I did a little more carving on them. Let me get the face. So what his face is looking like. Turn them this way. Okay. And what we are going to do is we're going to give him his abs. So we've got our micro carver with a ruby burr. Okay. Uh, wonder if I should do that with a wood burner. Yeah, the wood burner. The wood burner is nice because it doesn't have any pull to it. Uh, any rotary tool will pull you left or right, depending on which direction you have it spinning. So, uh, and the wood burner doesn't. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll wood burn this in, and then we can come back and. Come back and clean it up, I guess. With the uh, ruby burr.
Should have the fan on. I've been watching uh, Mark, Mark the Maker, Mark D Maker. He's making an owl, and he's doing it all with hand tools. Nice. He's uh, looks like he's using a uh, what do they call them? It's one of those uh, knives you buy that has a razor, exacto knife. That's it. Man, my mind is going. Looks like he's using an exacto knife to carve out that owl. And a wood burner, you know, to do all the all the feather uh, on it. I'll tell you, that guy can really know how he really knows how to use a wood burner. I'm nowhere near as good as he is. That's for sure. The guy knows his stuff. So he's doing this owl over there on his channel. And I'll tell you what, that owl is pretty sweet. And then our buddy Jordy over there at Carve Infusion started a new channel. Uh, Let the Art Find You, I think the name of it is. Yep. Okay. So, uh, we got to come in here and take away some of this wood to make his little abs poke out a little bit more. Right. And then um, we'll take this back on an angle because this is all going to be hair over here. It looks like we got to take this down, down a little more. Okay, guys, that's it for this one. And we will catch you on the next one where we will uh, do some more carving. So share, subscribe, and like, and we'll catch you on the next one. Be awesome. Carve awesome.